Okay, we are continuing our conversation about Google Business Profile. And we know about a year or so ago, there was all the chatter about, oh my goodness, Google My Business is going away. And oh my goodness, this is shutting down. I don't like clickbait titles. Fact of the matter is, Google told everybody, hey, we are going to condense this app and make it smarter. We're going to take away the individual GMB app and put everything into Google Maps and Google Search. That's one less app on your phone. I think it's smart, but whatever. Okay, so let's talk about how are we managing our business profiles from Google Maps because a lot of it will happen in Google Maps, specifically when you are answering a customer's message, like if they're chatting with you, it's gonna happen through Google Maps. If you don't have any of your notifications turned on, Google will send a message to you as well in your Gmail. So you have options on how you respond to the customer, but it's good to see all the things all the time. And if you have chat turned on, that means that your response rate will be high versus if you have to wait to answer the email um, when you're available. So we'll talk about chat in another video. So let's just get into how you're gonna manage it. So you're going under your profile. If you have a business profile, it will be listed under your business profiles, hello. And then you can click on and start managing all the things. So you're gonna see your overview. Now when it looks at views, keep in mind views are just people, any person looking at your business. Um, an interaction is them clicking and going into some deeper things. So if you go on Google search, you will see a slight, slightly, well, no, not slightly. You're going to see a, a shorter, a, a smaller number, hands down. It'll be a smaller number. It won't be in the thousands because people will look at stuff, but they won't interact with your business. So those are two different things, interactions and views, two different things. But You've got an idea of how many views you're getting and you can edit, you could create more promotions, you could send out your review link and things of that nature. So anything that you could have done on the desktop, you can also do here as well. But you're gonna see a couple of other differences that you don't see there. So I highly suggest taking some time to see how a customer views your business. If you've never gone incognito um, or used a different email address to see what the customer sees, you should start doing so that will help you recognize if your website, if your profile, if anything that has your name attached to it is as user friendly as you assume it to be. So we've got all the offers here, they're all there. We have all of our products here and they can of course click into individual uh, categories and see those products. We have our bio, our latest photos, and then we get into some Q&A and reviews, right? All of those are there, as well as your services, your reviews, the photos, and you want customers you want to encourage your customers to upload their photos. So there's updates by you, which we talked about, and this does and can feed into your search engine optimization campaign, but you also want your visitors to share their updates as well. So you want updates there. And then about, it's gonna go into your bio. It's gonna talk about those attributes that you have added. So if you're black owned, veteran owned, woman owned, LGBTQ friendly, all of it, that is gonna be listed here. Cause people are looking at those things and they're using those attributes to determine who they want to um, give their business to. That's just, that's, that's the fact of the matter, right? So we have these options down here that customers can see, chat, call, save it, share it, all those things. So now the question is when someone is sending me a message, where does that go? Well, the good thing is it's not gonna be under your profile specifically. It will be under your updates and it will be under messages. So everybody has to, okay, take it back. Everybody who has a business has to. Pardon me there. So you got your personal and then you have your business messages. And if there is a message, there is going to be a highlight for you to say, hey, there is a message waiting for you to answer. That exact same thing will be shown on the desktop version as well. So depending on where you are, like if you're uh, out and about, then maybe the phone is the best way to go if it's also the closest thing to you. But if you're sitting in your home office or you're just at your desktop or laptop, then perhaps the desktop version is the way to go. But this is how you want to become comfortable with managing your Google business profile. Google is throwing a lot of things into Google Maps. So become one with it, put your arms around it. As you can see here, my chat is off for my second business. I gotta write that, but we'll talk about that in the next video. Okay, so let me end this one and then we'll get to the other areas 
in the next 